This time on Balkan Garage, it's time to look at an even more neglected Tirana. This one's sat here for about, I'm gonna say six years. Well, I had a problem with the brakes and come over this side. Let's see, I've still got a jar down there trying to drain the fluid. Uh, pretty sure there's nothing in there, so we have a problem. This whole area here is a bit of wasted space, so I've actually got a bit of solution for that, but to put that solution in, got to get the car out of the way so I can get the new shelving in there. There it is, the new shelving. It's gonna be good. Five tier, it's just over two meters tall, 1800 wide and 540 mil deep. So it's gonna give me a nice little chunk of storage there by the power of YouTube. Yeah, right, maybe it works for you guys, not for me. Red's gonna help me put this together, aren't you, mate? Hey? Yeah? I won't bore you with that stuff because I want you guys to actually watch the video. I'll get this knocked up. Start working on the car like everyone wants to see. Be back soon. That is all finished. Took me about an hour to do. Maybe a little bit longer. That was with plenty of brakes and stuff. Did it completely on my own with a little bit of help to stand it up just because there was somebody here to help me at the time. But uh, looks pretty solid. Pretty impressed with how wide it is actually. Gonna get a lot of stuff on there. So that will really help. Okay, everyone, there's the four door. Uh, got her uncovered. Finally see her for the first time. So uh, this one's got a little one, one seven tree in it. That's the uh, under tree, so you can see it leaks a little bit of oil. Also notice it's got a brand new brake master on there. We'll be doing some work on that. I do have options. Yeah, with this wheel. She looks wider than that normally does. Anyway. Or, as you can tell, this one, I don't think I really drive on that. Especially not the tyre. That tyre has seen better days than that. The old Ego, they look good, but uh, no tyre looks good when you're upside down in the ditch, does it? So, probably give them a miss for now. Let's put these originals back on. But Pirelli's, they're, they're brand new, but they're like, I don't know, 12 years old or something now. Let's get it on, and then I'll find it. Hey Red, did you notice I'm only putting four nuts on this? Any idea why? Hey, you know anything about that? I used to have five nuts. Yeah. I did. I used to have five. Do you know what happened to the fifth one? No? Nah. It's almost like when I popped them off, somebody grabbed them and ran off with them. Do you know who that would have been? No? No idea. No, right, we're going to put some lubricant on these. Because that fifth nut was special red obviously oh. Surely I'm not that weak as piss, am I red? Press it sort of out. Oi! Where did that go? Did you just lose another tennis ball? Righty, one done. 
get rid of this wheel. As you can see here, there's my jar that's been gravity feeding for about six years. Still nothing in it. So, I can probably take that off. I think I've got a spanner on there still, so that can come off too. Okay. So there was fluid on there, so maybe leaving it for six years did something. Oh, B, there's some brake fluid in there, Red. Look. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Did I fix it? Or was that just in there? So, yeah, wishful thinking. I've closed off that nipple. Still no brakes. Okay, so I should have a look at the, the date on these tyres. That's it right there. Uh, it's upside down. It says 2505, which is 25th week of 2005. So, yeah, time to swap these out, I think. Thing is, the uh, life of a tyre is meant to be six years. So, yep, they are probably due for renewing, I reckon. Even though, you know, they are fresh as. It's still got dots on it, but it's probably not safe to drive on it. Which, you know, I will a little bit. No doubt, but uh, yeah, soon to be replaced. All right, so there we go. We've got all four wheels back on. We've got, I can't remember what they're called, but they're basically like a little trolley with wheels on it. And at the front, we've got some more, probably know these better, go jacks. You can hand them some of them, get them. These ones are heavier, easy to break. I guess they have hydraulic fluid in them which can leak out and stuff, so there's always that issue, but um, definitely go for those ones if you can get them, because especially that side over there, there's no way I would have got one of these other ones in there, because, well for starters I can't really get a jack in the front, there's too much crap there, so it's really handy, I can slide them under, pump them up, put some air in the tyres and off we go, but um, yeah, you can get them, really handy, I never would have got this car in here without them. It's the next day, we've got this thing aired up, ready to go. Let's have a look. There's some space down here, but, you know, in there is where the new shelf is going. But I'm going to leave that for now. I'm just going to spin the car out and see if we can get it started. It's time to try and get this thing started, so let's have a look. Uh, as I mentioned before, we've got a 170 tree. I don't know if this is the original motor or not, but you know, standard old red motor with the glass bowl fuel pump. It's got this rock hard fuel line here, so we'll see how that goes. New master cylinder. I wonder how much is in there. Yeah gone down a little bit so yeah but we will address that later we've got to get it running first i can't get it running there's not much point um getting the brakes working i do have some concerns with this one obviously if that fuel line's rock hard then potentially other ones throughout the car are rock hard as well um has sat for six years like i said and before that it was only getting started every couple of months. Another concern is the voltage regulator. 
which seems to be oozing something out there. We've also got over here this pipe here which has been bent off to uh, block the flow but then down here it's snapped off but it's still blocked I think I don't think the water comes through there and it's just a blank yeah obviously it's done that there could have done that elsewhere as well I'll put new leads on it and new spark plugs and all that sort of stuff so that should all still be good other than sitting I'll see how the water is this off <laughs> okay, I'll be back. for too long. Yeah, I'll get some water in there. Hopefully none will come out anywhere else. It's actually way over full. Which, I don't know, is that good or bad? It smells like oil, doesn't smell like petrol, so that's it. Uh, uh, transmission. Add one pipe. Full hot. Okay. You're supposed to have checked this when it's hot, but obviously we want to see, you know, what level it's at. Cold. Because we want to make sure there's some in there, which there appears to be. Yeah. Oh, we've got transmission fluid. It is an automatic three on the tree. So, you know, that's important. Let's check out the carby. Yeah, there's a, a screw thing. Couldn't remember where it was. To undo the base plate. There we go. Shows you how little I've messed with this car. I think my old run I had didn't have that on there. It was never tight. And obviously, Green Wagon, which is the only other one I've really worked on. That's got the holly, so completely different setup. Totally weird. It's like a one. And out of there. This goes to that way. Yeah. You're coming out, boy. That works. So, yeah, everything looks good so far. Apart from those few things, obviously. But yeah, I think we'll be able to start it. Okay, so let's have a look at the battery. This is boring shit, everybody uh, jumped off my other video when I got to the battery, but anyway, it'll be quick. That is black, which I, it doesn't actually tell me what it means. But judging by the, by that, and by that, pretty sure she ain't very good. Oh, this battery is actually out of the green machine. So, it's at least 10 years old. It was in it when I bought it nine years ago, so, you know. It's in, it's in this one because it wasn't working in that one, so. Let's just see what voltage we get from it. <laughs> okay, so maybe it's not a battery anymore. It is just a lump of lead. It's not even doing anything.
Oh, she's dead. Okay, so we just top up the water. See how many litres we take. Okay, not as much as I thought actually, it's only like how big is it? And if I, I'm gonna say two litres? No, I reckon it took about one and a half. This is hard man. Okay, there we go. How much? There we go. 12.34. So yeah, much better than the other one. Which we already knew. Gonna listen for fishy noises and sparky noises and could you use the no thread? No sparks. That's good. No smell yet. Nothing happening. That's good. All right. So we've got the battery hooked up. No, uh, you know, no smells or smoke or anything. Red's got the fire extinguisher down there in case it all goes bad. Uh, check the oil. Check the water. We've got a fresh battery. Check that, check that the carb is all good. Check the transmission fluid so we're not going to damage our transmission. I'm a little bit nervous, but I don't know what else there is to do other than to give it a crack. Fill up the water. Right, so I just want to see if I can turn it over by hand. Um, <laughs> so, that's a good sign. Seems like it's moving the whole lot. So that's good. That is good. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if the starter will work. You missed a bit when you vacuumed it. Right? Look, you missed a bit. So if you've seen my other video, I was saying, you know, that GTR has all LJ parts in it. Well, you can see here the difference. And then we've got a, it's an LC column. There's no, no key on there. And then the, the under dash there is, is LC. It's got the, the different setup there. It's got obviously the LC dash with the ashtray in the middle on the two humps. And then over here, you've got the fan and everything in the middle there. It's also got a little patch on the floor there where the four speed would come through or the three speed, whatever. But it's actually <laughs> column shift auto. So I did say three on the tree before. I meant column shift auto is different, obviously. So yeah, that's what we've got in here. Yes, I am putting it off <laughs> because I'm a little bit nervous. It's been a long time, but let's just see. Is that even the right key? Yes, it is. Oh, that doesn't smell good. Okay, so we've got a bad connection there. So. Have a look at that, let's sort that out. So for times like this, one of these comes in real handy. You've got two parts that come to part like that. This bit here is for cleaning inside the terminals. And this bit here is for actually cleaning the posts. So I don't think we need to use that. But it's a clean. Did have a lot of corrosion in there from the old battery, so let's sort that out. Just get that one on there. 
a bit of whizzy dizzy. Still no spark. But could be a bad connection down there too. I don't know, but we'll see. Check for smokies and smells. Doesn't appear to be anything. <laughs> so far, so good. Is there any fuel in there? There might be. I think I can see fuel in there. Oh, I can smell fuel. See stuff moving in there, no fuel as yet. Let's have another go. Crack it a little bit longer. <laughs> Seeing or hearing anything bad yet? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I can definitely smell petrol now. Doesn't smell great, but it's petrol. Mm. So nothing in there. Mm, maybe I can't smell petrol. <laughs> It runs. What have we got? Fuel everywhere down there. It's just pissing out of that pump. So that's the end of that for today. And you can smell fuel. Now I know where from. It was gushing out. I don't know if you got it on camera, but just as a side note, you might have thought it was a bit overkill getting out the fire extinguisher and having that ready to go, but. You know, that could have gone quite badly. All it would have taken was a spark and that fuel would have been up and then the car would have been up and the ship would have been up. So if you've got something that can, uh, it's only going to take out a small fire, but if you can use that to knock it on the head straight away, then that's more chance of sorting it out rather than I would have had to go and rummage through the other car and try to find it and everything. Had it there ready to go. Yeah, sometimes it's better safe than sorry. Um, but you don't let that stop you if you've got an old car Get it out there. Let's see it on the road. Um, they're not making any more, so let's get them out there and, and keep them going. Okay, fuel's all cleaned up. Bit of excitement there. Uh, that's going to do it for now because I don't have any parts for the pump. And I need to get some parts for the brakes as well. So next time, we'll be either sorting out the fuel pump, sorting out the brakes. Probably going to go through and replace all the soft fuel lines because if that pipe's rock hard like that, the rest of them probably are. Probably the same issue that we've got with the brakes. Also, I'll either get a new pump or get a kit, but it's cheaper and better sometimes just to get the newer style pump like I've got on the GTR because they're just more reliable and uh, you don't have to worry about breaking the glass and stuff like that, which can happen. Yeah, obviously would have liked to run a bit longer, but also didn't want to burn my shed down. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, come back next time and we'll have more time of goodness. See you later, bye. 
Thank you for watching.